Hello, I'm Colin Daly of Campbell Scientific in Logan, Utah. In this video, we will show you how to get your EC100 updated with the latest operating system. The steps we'll go through are download the EC100 OS from our website, install the USB drivers, and install the OS in the EC100. Make sure you're working with your field computer. It will need both the operating system and the drivers to interface with the EC100. We'll show you where to get those next. First, download the EC100 operating system. Navigate to the CPAC 200 page. Go to the Support tab and scroll to the bottom where you'll see the EC100 operating system, or OS. Click Add to List. Enter your contact information in the form. Be sure to double check your email address. When you're done, scroll to the bottom and click Submit. Next, check your email for a message from support at campbellside.com. Click the link provided and save the file. That will put an executable file in your computer. You will need to run it. Here we'll double click from the downloads window. This will extract the file and place it in the correct folder. Next, install the drivers on the computer you will be using in the field. Windows 7 and Vista computers with internet connections will do this automatically. If you will not have an internet connection out in the field, then download the drivers before you go. This tutorial shows you the steps using Windows XP. We'll access the driver's website from the device configuration utility through Loggernet's Utilities category. From the Loggernet toolbar, select the Utilities category, then Device Configuration Utility. On the left-hand side, select the Sensor category, then EC100. From here, you can install the USB drivers needed to communicate with the EC100. Click the link, which will bring you to another page where you'll click the link to the FTDI website. From that website, navigate to the VCP drivers. Scroll to the table where you'll click Setup Executable in the Comments column of the Windows row. Save the file. Double-click to run it. Click OK here and run. Connect a USB cable between the USB ports on the computer and the EC100 and then power up the EC100. The found new hardware wizard will launch. Click Yes and proceed through. That will install the drivers. You only need to do that once. Now that the drivers are installed, the USB cable is connected to both the computer and the EC100 and power is supplied to the EC100, we'll move on to the operating system. From the Device Configuration Utility, click the Send OS tab. Click the dot 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 button in the lower left and navigate to the USB serial port we just installed. Mine says COM7, your COM port number may be different. Click OK. Click the Start button and navigate to the new EC100 operating system. It will be in the CampbellSci Lib Operating Systems folder and have a .obj extension. Select it and click the Open button. Click OK to avoid conflicts, then wait while the operating system loads. When it's done, you'll get an OS Send Complete message box. Click OK. Let's check to make sure the new operating system is running. Still using the device configuration utility with the EC100 selected from the left, Click Connect. Click OK again to avoid conflicts, then check the OS version number to make sure the new OS has been loaded. That's all there is to it. Remember, bring the EC100 USB cable and make sure the computer that you'll be using in the field has the operating system file, drivers, and a fully charged battery. Please contact a Campbell Scientific Applications Engineer in the Micrometeorology Group to discuss your application and for answers about your eddy covariance system.